everybody. I'm back today to do an unboxing on a Masterpiece Galleries doll. Um, I bought this doll, I won, a, um, I won her on eBay, and um, it, I did do the bid on the auction. I got her for a phenomenal price. So she was advertised as new, guys, and um, her name is Tamika. And look at how beautiful she is, guys. She's um, a black African-American doll. And this is what she looks like in the photo. And I noticed this photo wasn't all that flattering, guys. I did do a search ahead of time to see what this doll looked like. Um, images on Google to see what I could find. Because if you know anything about the Master Peach dolls, they are no longer in production. So um, the artist is Laura. I think it's Tuzio Ross. And um, this doll is uh, Tamika again. And it's number 47 of 350. And um, so I'm gonna just go ahead and get her unwrapped. I can't, I've been really fortunate, guys, to get new Masterpiece dolls. I don't even know, like, I, I have had extremely good luck finding these dolls as new. So I was looking on the box and the materials say that she um, is um, silicone vinyl. So that's why I just touched her face right now. She does have a little bit of a squish to her. Um, that is her towel. I'm gonna go ahead and pull her on out. She came with like a passy, it looks like. She also came, looks like with a little washcloth. Wow, guys, check her out. She's all wrapped up in original condition. I just, this is like the funnest thing when I buy vintage shawls, guys, and they're still wrapped up brand new in boxes. That is like the coolest thing. Um, so she is. I believe supposed to be African American, or at least that's how she was advertised um, on uh, in the eBay listing. And um, if you guys have never watched my channel before, you know I'm kind of newer to doll collecting. I was a child collector, um, but her skin is definitely medium tone. You can see um, if you guys also have watched my channel, I am half Hispanic and half Caucasian. But I'm tan right now, and um, where the, her skin is the same color as mine. Um, so out of the other um, African American dolls I have, she's definitely a little bit more on the lighter side, which is totally fine. Um, I think she is absolutely beautiful, guys. Look at the details. Look at her beautiful eyes, and her eyebrow strokes are really cool. I like how they did um, several little strokes. Okay, guys. So the way she is um, dressed is she's just in a bathrobe and she is um, full vinyl so you can see that um, I'm going to keep tearing this off all of her paper I'm going to let her diaper out and she is anatomically correct which is really cool actually you guys like I most of the masterpieces I've looked at have been large um, in size, like somewhere in the 28 inch range. They make them all sizes and um, she's 20, I believe you guys. Um, but look at how realistic she looks just for a vinyl doll. She looks pretty good for not, um, like definitely her skin and her, her um, chest plate area is what I'm talking about. It's not a chest plate, but her chest and stomach area. And she's got a cute little belly button. Um, and her face is just gorgeous. Her hair is adorable. Look at this beautiful ringlet curls on this pretty baby. Look at this. I'm gonna have to let it out and get it a little puffy. Um, her legs are bent, but she can sit cross, well not cross-legged, but you can see how she can sit. Um, and her arms are bent, they are jointed. Um, she does have this little headband on. She's 20 inches, so I already know she's gonna fit newborn just fine. I did not do a clothing haul for her like I like to do, you guys. Um, I did wanna see what she looks like in her, um, all, all dressed up in her own outfit. Um, and her robe says the same thing that her towel says. Okay guys, so I got her all unpackaged. These are all her accessories. I wrapped her little towel around her. Um, I think this doll can actually probably be submerged in water. She's not heavily weighted. Um, she does have some weight because she is a vinyl doll, but she's got, um, you can feel some kind of a, some kind of material in the si inside of her. Um, she's not hollow, um, but she does have her, the nice details of her um, nails and things finished. 
Um, she's very exquisite, you guys. I, I wanna put a beautiful dress on her. She looks very pretty in yellow. I thought this was a pasty, guys. It was actually a little rubber ducky, which is super cute. It goes with her outfit. Um, she's perfectly in theme, and you guys know I love a good theme. Um, but I was looking around to see what I have, and um, I do have this little um, pinafore dress that I had bought for fall dresses for my dollies. This was um, a custom-made dress that I bought on Etsy from Tamar Alvarez, and she's, again, I've mentioned her before, she's popular in the Paradise Galleries community. Um, and Middleton dolls. She does custom made clothes. I bought several clothes um, Dresses and things from her but um, This one I haven't I don't think I put it. I mean, I, I think I tried it on my dolls on a couple of them um, This was meant made to fit in a door doll, but it really can fit any 20 inch doll so I think I'm gonna try to put this on her because um I think it's gonna be super cute with the hat. I don't wanna cover up her hair because her hair is absolutely gorgeous, but I figure there's um, other outfit changes for the future that we can do where we can showcase her hair. Um, but I think this um, super cute sun hat with the bonnet will be beautiful on her and will frame her face really well. And um, she will be in perfect uh, theme for fall. And even though it's hot where I live, doesn't matter. I still follow the seasons regardless if the weather does or not. <laughs> so, um, so I'm going to go ahead and get her changed guys. And I will be right back. Okay guys. So I got the dress on her and wow, like this dress couldn't fit her any better. Um, the neck, everything, it buttons up perfectly. Like it was made for her size doll. So she must be similar size to the adore dolls bodies. Um, and, um, I just wanted to show her hair without um, the little um, headband on before I cover it up with a um, really pretty bonnet that matches, but I love her hair. It is so pretty and cute. Um, so I'm gonna do a little bit of styling on it to kind of get the length to come down a little bit on the curls and um, I'm gonna put her bonnet on. I might pierce her ear. She's definitely a good candidate. Her vinyl is nice and soft, so she'll be easy to, to do that for. And, um, and I'll be back, guys. Okay, guys, so this is what she looks like in her final outfit. Um, the, the dress fit perfect, as I mentioned. The hat is a little snug. I think it was made for a smaller head. She also has a very puffy wig, so um, that I had to kind of get it on her and tie it tight. Um, I did borrow the shoes from a different doll. I realized I have an online order at um, Carter's I need to go pick up that has some shoes in it that I probably could have used for her outfit, but um, it is what it is, and I'm going with what I've got like I always do. I think she looks beautiful, she looks fall friendly, she looks like she's ready to go to the pumpkin patch and pick her fall pumpkins and go on a cute little hayride. Um, <laughs> so um, very happy to add her to my collection. She is just stunning. Um, I really love the face on this doll. She's just absolutely gorgeous and um, her size is good. She is, like I said, a newborn size, but she just seems larger. Um, and so um, this is something I did learn is that the Masterpiece dolls are made in different sizes down. Um, I've seen some as small as about 15 and a half or 16 inches. So I thought that was very interesting um, as well as the larger toddler dolls, which can go up to, I think, 38 inches or maybe even taller on some of the um, some of the other dolls they have. They may be in the lower 40 inch range. So, so that's it for her guys. She is adorable. I'm super happy she's here. Um, and I got her for an, a fantastic price. I mean, kind of unbeatable, cheaper than Ashton Drake, um, cheaper than what I would have paid for a PG doll, if you can believe that. She was just one of those random finds that just worked out great. So, um, but that's it. Um, I hope you enjoyed this unboxing and outfit change on my new little um, masterpiece baby girl. So please like, comment, and subscribe, you guys. And I will talk with you later. Take care.